Why, hello there. Welcome to Game Club. Charming. 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 This week with Gus. Ashley. Ryan. And Gus. This is a little high. Hello, I had neighbor. Plenty of time to we're, that we're very down here. today. We're this week, quiet. we're talking yeah. about Spooky's House of Jump Scares. Boo! Which was... <laughs> <laughs> Which was no. a, a you pick. Yeah, it was a me pick. You, uh, yeah. you put this sure one did. in the cylinder was, of selection. It, a, a free early access game on Steam. Yep. So and free. It was awesome. So it's, I think, the favorite game I've played for Game Club. You are insane. It You're is a so crazy good. person. Why did you put this game in the cylinder? Because it was great. Everyone should play this game. All right, Why? let's talk about it for a This okay. is like, on a scale of 1 to 10, this is like an 8.5. Okay. This is coming from the it's guy that even really done. done. Here's the most telling from thing the about really this game. guy that likes paperwork. Yeah. So if you look in the game, because I have moved from computer to computer, so I was trying to figure out where the save file was. If you look in the game assets folder, there's a textures folder that has like eight textures in it. That is the entirety of the game. Sounds about right. Yes. Great. It Simplistic. made me hate the same geometric shapes so much. Like, oh. I guess I should go right and, and then take a left. All right. Now, this is the one where I go to the right and then take a left and go straight. Okay. This is the one that you don't go around that way. You just take a left there at the end. But see, that's the mechanic of the game is it wears you down with the repetition. And then every now and then you get the random jump scare, like something that pops out or a monster that's chasing when you. When you say something that and jumps out, it's just a little board thing that pops out on the wall. It's a piece of cardboard that comes out and goes, Hello. But it has the, yeah. the loud. It also y'all are y'all are totally noise. missing the point. It also has the loud sound cue that goes with it, which gets scarier as the game progresses. It does as you go down levels. It goes from being like ding -ding -ding right. to like. I'm gonna start by saying weird. I went all the way to the end of the game as it exists so, so far. So we should know that the game is called Spooky's House of yes. Jump Scares, and it challenges you to uh, survive a, a thousand, thousand, thousand rooms. rooms. Is ask, in fact, Actually, when you start the game, yeah. it asks, can you survive a thousand rooms? The answer, by the way, is no, you cannot, because there are only 750 the, finished. No, 760. You can, 760. You can survive. It, it tells you everything from here yeah, on is not keep complete. Going. You can keep going. And by what does that mean? Like, the game is the same room. There's like, uh, I think there's maybe 10 room <laughs> templates. Ooh, excuse me. That may be generous, too. It, I don't even know if it's 10. Yeah, but it just that might be 10. those there, 10. Uh, there are mechanics that require you to know those patterns because there's the one boss the puppet master who you have to face the entire time Fuck that guy and you have to walk backwards through the same rooms that was so yeah. that was okay let the puppet master takes an already tedious experience and makes it twice no, as tedious the puppet master turns the game on its ear and Here's reinvents the, the game and reinvigorates so it. what do you mean it turns the game on because its ear turns the game 180 degrees now you're just walking like, ass now first into going now it's just jeff playing pt where he just goes anus first into danger right and then you have to spin very quickly to get out and then spin around that's again to that's so look. annoying it's awesome it is such an innovative mechanic how is that innovative? Because you're going through the repetition. Everything you've seen, the eight textures or whatever, the certain finite number of rooms are now all different. So you're going through the same thing again, but backwards. I like it when daddy and daddy fight. That it's is, awesome. That is not, <laughs> such, it is, is not an innovation. such a smart idea. <laughs> no, with, it's not. It's lim, annoying. With a limited amount of resources and a small game, how to reinvigorate everything and make it all that fresh. That did okay, so not reinvigorate it anything. Absolutely did. It deinvigorated me. Let's, I lost vigor. <laughs> Let's take a couple of steps back and explain why okay. you guys what you guys are arguing about. So this is a series of, it's not joking around, this is hundreds and hundreds of rooms you a come thousand. in one door, a thousand, a thousand, but mm -hmm. it's ten rooms just, you know, with a lot of different skins. Yes. You come in a door, then the room is a hallway, or it, it goes to the left, or it goes to the right. It's a certain shape, and then you go to the other door, you go out the door, and then you're in the next sometimes room. Sometimes there yes. are multiple doors in a room. Sometimes there are multiple doors. You just have pick choices. One. They don't seem to make and, any difference. And sometimes the doors don't take you to another room. It's like side rooms within the same big master room. So that happens like very rarely. Very I will rarely, say, though. This is what the game did well. It made relief from monotony feel better than most games I've ever played. Where it's like, oh my god, it's not room one through ten. It's now I'm in a burger factory. Which like, that's interesting. Fucking terrifying. Like when you actually get a jump scare, you're not terrified, you're excited. I didn't see any jump scares. I no, mean, I mean, a, 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 a jump wall. scare. Okay, so here's the thing. So the, the jump scares that it references in the game are the little cardboard cutouts that pop out from the wall with a scary sound cue. After number three, I was done. Like, oh, okay, I'm not scared anymore. Terrifying every time. I was yep. running from room to room just going, ah, oh, fuck, now it's in my way. Get if, out of my way. Every yes. time, it was like, this is, if this was my mouse hand, every time one came out, it would be like, <laughs> my screen would just shift. 
because it was it was it was scary. The other every mechanic, time. it was not. You really get it past scary. it very quickly. No. The other thing is, you there's a, a assortment of monsters, some of which I never even saw. Uh, right, because there is no problem in this game that can't be solved by running from it. Yeah, you just sometimes run. backwards, like sometimes you run mm-hmm. backwards, but regardless, run away. you run. Actually, a great game for me in that regard. Like, <laughs> oh, there's a problem, run, and everything will be fine. Now, here's what they what I liked initially, and they fuck it up by not continuing this through the whole thing. This is the most I think I've ever cursed in a game club. That's how <laughs> I feel about this game. So early on, you run into there's a bunch of series of notes. You're 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 following kind of the path of someone that went through before. Mm-hmm. That was actually kind of interesting and engaging. Like, oh, I'm, I'm you know someone's here. Like this this is a lived in maze. After that person dies, you don't see that again till like the six hundreds. Again, I had a weird they're head killing you with the agony. They're just drawing the experience out so that when it happens, it's like. It when really what stands happens? out when you get another note. When I went something to the else end, happens. nothing happens. <laughs> there are more notes, though. Yeah, you get like six more. I had an initial headcanon about that, wondering if those notes were from me. That, that would have been interesting, too. Anything the they game's could have done not, would have now, been interesting. Now, now I just know. figure that whoever's yeah. leaving the notes is actually going to be in room 1000, though, the final boss. Which you can't get to yet. Which again, well, I mean, this is no, early it's access. Not, it's not right. done. The yeah. game is not finished. For it a, is free and it is early access. For They're a very a clear about that. Proof of concept early access game. It's phenomenal. I cannot not wait phenomenal. to see the final finished it is product. Not again, phenomenal. coming Play from the, the guy again. whose favorite game is a paperwork Papers, simulator. Please. So My let's just My favorite game is really probably Fallout that. 3, which is not a paperwork That's simulator. That's true. Okay. That Papers, Please is a fantastic game. Just I don't know. I never played it. All I know is that this game was your choice, and it was a bad one. It was a great game. This was the best game ever to come out of Game The Club. nicest thing I can say about this game, aside from being, you know, I want to, I, I, I feel bad sometimes railing on these things because it's early access. He's just, you know, he's made a thing. Like, as it's like a single, if it's like one or a few people it's working by, on a project. It's by two dudes. There you go. Hey, it's a pretty big accomplishment for that. But as far as, like, a game goes, it costs exactly as much fun as it is. Infinite dollars? It does not cost infinite dollars, Ryan. Zero. No. If they could find some negative scale for pay, where it actually reimburses you for the time you spent in the game, I think that would be better. One of the most exciting things about the game for me is when you get every 50 levels and you go in the elevator, which, by the way... Yeah, I'll come what do you back, do I'll in the elevator there, Ashley? What's, a, there's only I'll two features of the elevator. There's a button, and then there's a... An altar that is theoretically creepy, because there are always altars in scary things. No, it's a... Why don't you talk about what you were talking about? Okay, we'll, we're come gonna ta- we'll come back to this. But uh, you go in the elevator, you push the button, you look at the cute kitty poster going, Aw, it says hang in there. And then you go out. You go through the door, which is a nice little, like, little Resident Evil nod, mm. I thought. And then, boom, textures have changed. That's it. Yes, the, it's the, the same rooms, the, but the, the wall texture rooms, is different. But yes, the fact that there are the, you, yeah. the walls have Except changed for three color times. or something, you go, ooh, so this is nice. There's and three times I'm so I remember. Refreshed. So going back to the elevator, God, every f- every fifty damn it. or hundred rooms, there is an elevator room. So you walk into yeah. the elevator room, and it's 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 a small room. On the left side, there's a table with a cross on it. On the right side, there's a table that sometimes has a paper on it, like and there's twice. a hang in there kitty poster above that. One and a, time there's also a dead person in there. And there's a skeleton. Well, and there's a, a button but it was on the, unromantic. There's a button on the wall. You hit that? the button and it makes the room go lower and exposes the yeah. door so you can continue on your quest. So what I didn't know, because I didn't go around just poking at things apparently, is that you can save every 50 levels. So every time I died was an exercise in complete frustration. <laughs> well, not because I died, not because that was a crazy traumatic experience, but because I had to play through all the levels again, well, or that, so I thought. That explains <laughs> why you didn't like the game. If you had just clicked that on the cross, true. it would have saved it. Okay, wait, I do have something nice to say about the game. Uh, the the real, the creepiest and most uh, like spooky part oh, of I it. I've got an eye tick right now. I'm so upset <laughs> about it. My eye is ticking. The creepiest and, and the spookiest part of the game is what happens to you when one of the monsters catch you. Mm. Those always have like a little like sadistic, like the the puppeteer, the the needle coming, the needle the coming towards yeah. your an eye. It was kind of tempting to die to each one if I didn't think at the time that I had to replay the whole game. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, also, like you the spider get, I saw and just like I ran like hell because the first time I played the game, I died to. That the first monster, like the green goopy guy, because yeah, 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 I initially saw him coming at me, and I was like, 
How do I hit him? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I realized it's not that kind of game. No, you just and run. I, I think every 250 rooms or so, you, you're given a password, so you can start a new game from that room if you yeah. want as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think the first time. So there is also a level of randomization to it, even though you say yes. there's not very much, very many rooms. Uh, you know, I've died before. And then had to replay a section of rooms from the point I saved. I think and, potentially uh, even monsters are randomized yes. like, to an extent. Mm -hmm. And uh, then the rooms I went through would be different on my subsequent playthrough than they were originally. Yes. So it is. It is. Though the different. puzzles are the same. So yes. there's one. They have a couple instances where there are puzzles. So I think there's four different things you can run into. There's the the setup for the puppeteer, which was good. Again, they have notes. That's all of a sudden they have something engaging again, which was fun. And then it had like a thing where there were invisible doors. Uh, Is that there, the one with the misty doors? The misty doors. You had, to, doors. Yeah. So you had to stand on the eye in the middle, and it, it was oh, oh, that those. was yeah. the same every time because I died to the puppeteer yes. a couple times. Um, but there's that. There's the uh, there's like a lab, a shut down lab. Yes. It was oh, very that, metal wall. The spider. Yeah. The, there was well, I think it was. It looked like a mouth, just a mouth with teeth in it, was what chased me. But it only chased me for one room. I don't know if. Yeah, I, did, I didn't expect yeah, that one very long at all. Have, well, there was a spider from, that was a monster, yeah. Yeah, from what I understand, the spider, because there are the holes in the ceiling yeah. whenever the spider's chasing Never came you, out for me. And he never came out for me either. Mm -mm. I figured, I did read afterwards, because I was trying to figure out if yeah. I got bugged. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. Uh, and I guess it takes a couple seconds for him to drop down out of the ceiling. So maybe the fact that I am just very good at hightailing it <laughs> at the first sign of danger meant that oh, was you would love it. Like later on in the game, you get unlimited stamina. Uh, oh, yeah, that just yeah, keeps you from is, sprinting. Yes, which it is does. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. I love it. They they just make it so you can't sprint. So your stamina awesome. never yeah, goes down. It's great. Yeah, I didn't, it's like it's I like didn't sprint anyway. A, it's like getting a wish from a genie, and yeah. they misinterpret your wish. Yeah, and you get like the fucked up evil version. That, I, hurts that you. was also good. That, that was a good trick. I like that one. Mm -hmm. uh, well, but there was the there was like a burger shot kind of thing where you go through a. a mm -hmm. Which was all right. There was some fun kind of spooky notes in there. And then there was the uh, the creepy forest where there were carnivorous deer. Those were I love the look of those deer. Those were and pretty cool. The the and then you get to, you get an axe, which is great because then every time one of those things pops out, instead of having to walk around it, you can just break it. Well, which is cool because you play most of this game without a weapon. Yeah. I don't think you get the axe until like room 600. It was late, late in the game. Yeah. Yeah. You do get the flashlight with the, uh, in some the, dark the ring lady. Yeah. yeah, but you can't control You don't the have any control. No, yeah. you don't control yeah. it. Just suddenly you go into a room and, oh, look, you have a flashlight. Yeah. Uh, not just any room, a Japanese classroom. Well, yeah, that's there. That's is haunted. That. By the ring Japanese lady. Japanese classroom. The classrooms, they had like Japanese it's writing on the walls and the chalkboard. It was like you don't, where like the ring type uh, monster was. It's like 160 something. You didn't even go into the side rooms, did you? See, you just run. That's the What's thing. What side it's... rooms? You, you can't tell if it's a side room or not. Yeah, you can. The doors look different. I don't. I don't remember. Yeah. I have no recollection the doors of that. Look I, I, but here's the thing. I didn't do that as much as possible because I was just trying to hide. I went through. through every room. I tried to I go through everything. everything. I tried to go through everything. I may have fallen asleep at some point because the game was so boring. It was it's so good. possible. It's so good. When it's not, when those little cardboard things aren't coming at the side at you, it's actually a little bit zen. Kinda. It's just like door. Door, door. Right. Then you get boo. the then you get the crazy music and something boo. starts like, chasing you for ding. a couple of rooms and then it gives up and and goes on Except to the terrorize the next guest. Well, yeah. who makes you run ass backwards into danger? You have to look it. at him, right. otherwise he kills you. It took me a long time oh, to God, figure that so out. God, so tedious, so, so tedious, so smart. I like it. It's like a boo. Oh yeah, I'm it is sure. like I a boo. Yeah. About that, yeah. The thing is, you have to every time you go through a door, you immediately have to whip around. Mm -hmm. That is really annoying to do. And then if uh, if he stabs you, if you just stand still for a while, your health comes back. So he's, I spent a lot of time just like staring at him for a while. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. <laughs> it's you and me again, puppeteer. One of the other game references I thought it was a game reference uh, was the the room that you go in, and this is earlier on. I referred to it as Lost, which was I think confused you guys because it's not the deer one. It's when you go into the room and you have to memorize the direction. To go oh, yeah, based yeah, yeah. on the dings. Ding. So it's oh, uh, right. there's a specific order through, but everything looks identical. It took me ages. I was just running around for a while going, what the hell is going on? And then I realized it was the sound cues. You have to go right, straight, straight, left. 
and it that's, changes. And that's the pattern you changes. It does left, change. Left, middle, middle. But you and listen. And left, left, middle, middle were most yeah. common for me. Yeah, because you get the ding if it's right. Otherwise, you get a... Also, first wrong. time I did that, I was playing in the Achievement Hunter office, and uh, I'd taken my headphones off and navigated the maze on the first try with no audio cues. So you had no wow. idea that it was And special. then when I ran into it again later, I was like, what the? What am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. So the last time, I just walked a couple of rooms, and it worked. <laughs> So. so you well, were that, playing that with is, no sound. That's why you didn't like the game. That Only the for the a couple levels. It was when I was in the Achievement Hunter office, mm -hmm. and someone started talking to me, so I took my headphones off. I, I can't be held responsible if you didn't play the game right. Let's pick a new one. Maybe one that Gus didn't pick. All right. So, well, so, we, so, have, we, we have cylinder, options here. The cylinder right. of selection. Bring out the cylinder. Which, which uh, recently, you know, we've pared down. We've uh, tried to make sure well, that we're somebody, all excited about all of the games in there. Somebody put this one in the dryer, and it... What? In Shrink the dryer? a little bit. Oh, you mean the the, the cylinder? The actual cylinder. The cylinder's looking a little sparse. Are you picking this week, Ashley? Yeah. Was there's usually there's usually more options options in there. This this is. I got this. Don't worry about it. I'm a little worried. Uh, don't worry, I got your laptop. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Oh, is the laptop in danger? Yeah, I got it's it. sliding. I got it. There we go. Uh, oh, make get a good one. Make sure you get a uh, okay. <laughs> what you got for us? <laughs> All right, <clears throat> this week the cylinder. Let's be clear that the cylinder the has cylinder, selected this. Cylinder selected this. The cylinder. No one else interfered. It was no just the cylinder. No, it was no help from anyone. No. <laughs> no. That is that is <laughs> not what, what we planned. The cylinder the cylinder that is not one. what we planned. I I saw what's, you choose one from the seconds? cylinder. Oh, we're playing sixty seconds. God damn it! I, I don't know what this game is. I really want to play that game. This what game was is not it? the plan. It's a game where there's nuclear weapons inbound, and you have sixty seconds to collect supplies and get oh, your family into a bomb about. shelter, and then try to survive. Actually, it seems like you expected something different. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm super excited to play 60 Seconds. This is awesome. <laughs> Aww. I'm well. so glad I'm not here next week now. <laughs> well, then why were you trying to rig the draw anyway? Because it was going to be funny. All right. <laughs> this, this is even funnier. Well, now funnier. it'll be funnier. I found, I found now out, you'll be here for I the, found, the game. I found out while I was in makeup that Ashley was trying to rig it. <laughs> so I secretly picked another game and put it in there and swapped it out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the worst. And the best part was you kept talking about how it was the cylinder doing it. It was, <laughs> it was the will of the cylinder. Like, yes, the will of the cylinder. <laughs> All right, uh, well, we're gonna play someday. Sixty seconds someday, which is a game available on Steam, and uh, we'll talk about it next week. All right, thanks for joining us. Bye. I hate you guys.